Well, we're here at the Big Bang Fair, which is just the place to ask people about what they think of science and maths and what their vision of science and maths learning in the future would be. Why is it important for us to learn science? I think you can like you can get a lot of jobs out of it. I think it's going to be the future of jobs. You know, we're hearing every day about the lack of jobs, um, but we know that there are thousands and thousands of jobs available in science, technology, engineering, and maths. By 2018, we need 200,000 new technicians alone, just in engineering. Like science has grown and developed in the last 10 years, I think within 20 years time it will just be, we'll be able to fix it pretty much anything. I think it's going to help cure a lot of people and a lot of things in the future. Well you hear all this stuff about like food sources are running out and we won't have enough protein. So science is probably going to find a solution to that, like a new source of protein, of a new humane way of producing that on a large scale. The energy problems because like, the fossil fuels, they're running out, but we need to find a new energy solution. Particularly with like diseases, like, especially now, you know, like HIV, AIDS, cancer. What sort of things do you think it's going to be important to learn science for in the future? Um, medicine and that area, but then also then for, as the military gets bigger and bigger, we're going to need to know how to make better stuff to defend ourselves. Um, finding out I mean, use science in your everyday life, every single thing. Everybody should have a very basic understanding. I mean, I didn't do chemistry or physics at school, and sometimes I think maybe I should have done. I think it will always be important for everybody to know a little bit. What about the difference between our, our, our experts of the future and our citizens of the future? Who are we teaching science for? I think there's always going to be a mixture. I think when you're talking about schools and secondary schools, we need to inspire our scientists of the future and give them the skills that they need to go on. But we need everybody to be a responsible citizen, to know what they're voting for. Science comes in everything, doesn't it? We, everything we do today involves science, so science is it's like extremely important. For example, if someone wanted to be a hairdresser, what, how do they know what goes into the hair dyes? That's all chemistry, isn't it? It's going to be different levels. The people who are developing the software, developing the electronics, developing the machines and the systems will have one level of understanding. But everyone is going to have to have an understanding, a basic, to do anything. 